Piper Reporter Adem here. For this Piper Report, we decided to take a closer look at the slam poetry scene here at Hamlin. Let's check it out. I'm Blythe Baird, and uh, I'm a senior at Hamlin, and I'm a double major in creative writing and women's studies. My freshman year, I um, did the slam a lot, uh, and then sophomore year, um, the person who used to run it, Lewis Munt, um, asked me to take over, and so uh, I started doing it then, but then junior year was my first year on programming board, and uh, previously, the slam like wasn't funded by anything, and I was like, you know what, this sounds like it would be in programming board's alley to do a funded slam. We have it, so you will be able to like win money at the slam, so first place is 100 and second place is 50, so we're trying to um, hopefully encourage more people to slam and have more of an incentive to do it and uh, keep the hub uh, vibrant and lively. Spoken word taught me how to articulate a point in a way that was clear and concise and effective and artistic, right? And what it also allowed me to do is be able to look at my life experiences within like the grand scheme of things and like what structures they play into and different things and like what my experiences are examples of on a greater scale. It allowed me to find meaning in things that I didn't always find meaning in. Also I think is a super empowering tool to be able to go on stage and let uh, your experiences live outside of your body I think is really important especially for young people there are so few spaces where we get to speak uninterrupted let alone for three whole minutes you know and so to be able to have that is really cool but uh, I personally believe in spoken word as a tool for social change because people relate to experiences personal experiences often more than they can relate to like textbook facts um, so that's why I like to do it.